to his life. So he writes this essay relating the world of science to the world of uh, arts and humanities. And uh, he writes as such. He says, uh, statistically, I suppose, slightly more scientists are in religious terms unbelievers compared with the rest of the intellectual world, but there are plenty who are religious, and that seems to be so, especially among the young. And uh, Richard Feynman, uh, an atheist, to his dying day refused to go to his father's uh, funeral because a, a rabbi presided, and that was offensive to him. But uh, nine years before he got the Nobel Prize, he made this statement, many scientists do believe in both science and God. Uh, the God of Revelation, he's talking about what kind of a God he's talking about in a perfectly consistent way. So it certainly is possible. One could go beyond that and cite Alan Lightman, who I think has written the definitive work on this, on this topic, um, uh, Origins, Lives, and Worlds of Modern Cosmologists. And I'll just jump to the, uh, he took the Dan Rather approach to, uh, to this, uh, this question. He bought a tape recorder, traveled all around the world, talked to famous physicists, and and ask them what they thought about ultimate questions. What is life? Uh, is, is there meaning in the universe? Does a God exist? Is there life after death? You know, the, these, these questions that philosophers no longer ask. Well, that ought to, so that, I, I guess there aren't as many of them here as I thought. That should have, uh, should have gotten their blood going. Okay, and Jed is telling me, watch out for the clock. You told too many stories. Uh, anyway, I'll just take the, the bottom line of this. Uh, indeed, contrary to popular myth, scientists appear to have the same range of attitudes about religious matters as does the general public. Your, all that time getting me introduced is your time, Jed, not mine. That is, that is your time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to skip many things. That's sad, but we're not going to skip this. Uh, this, is, uh, this is too good to skip. Eugene Wigner. Uh, Nobel Prize in, in physics in the early years, just died a couple of years ago, uh, a, um, labeled himself, of course, he was one of these great Jewish intellectuals that came from uh, Budapest. And, and you know Johnny von Neumann uh, as, as, as well, uh, Michael Polanyi, um, uh, Edward Teller, an amazing group of people. Uh, once he got to the U.S., he kind of morphed into, into Protestantism. Uh, used to like to talk about the remarkable uh, effectiveness uh, of mathematics uh, and, and stated that the miracle of the appropriateness of the language of uh, mathematics for the formulation of the laws of physics is a wonderful gift we neither understand nor uh, deserve. So I'm going to ask this question three times. And I'm not going to do too much else. Uh, why might a scientist become a Christian, and uh, my first answer to this question would be the intelligibility of the universe. It, it, it certainly points to a sovereign creator God. This comes to us from mathematical physics. Uh, the laws of nature look just as if they have been selected as the most simple and elegant principles of intelligible change by a wise creator. Uh, belief in the intelligibility of nature strongly suggests, suggests the existence of a cosmic mind who can construct nature in accordance with rational laws. Now, I have much more on that topic, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep going. You know, the, 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 the best evidence is empirical. Is it possible to be a, sci a scientist and a Christian? It must be, because virtually all of the great ones in the history of the physical sciences were Christians, and many are today. And one of the wonderful things about writing this book is I have had so many people uh, write to me who are well-known scientists that say, hey, get me in there too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, get me in there too. I love Jesus too. I mean, it's, it, that's really heartening to see that, uh, to see that, uh, that happen. Um, Case Decker is, is here at the meeting, and he is, is one such. Well, we're skipping many things here. It's sad to see it go by, but Jed is giving me, <laughs> he is giving me the very evil eye. Um, very evil. Uh, I'm not even looking at him now. You can see that. I'm not going to look until I get to something I like here. Uh, I'm going to ask this question three times. Why might a scientist become a, uh, a Christian? Um, but uh, I have to get to the second one. Y'all are missing such good stuff here. I mean, this is, this is really sad to see this stuff go by the wayside. Jed, you know, this is all your fault. Uh, they could be, uh, okay, here we go. They could be, they could be just taking this all in if it weren't for you. Uh, 
So number two, and this, I think that, okay, this is my one, you know, I'm not a, um, I'm not really a member of the ID.